Toothbrushes are essential oral hygiene tools that have evolved significantly over the years. Brushing teeth was a thing even thousands of years ago when people used twigs to clean their teeth. Now, consumers can choose from several toothbrushes with soft or hard bristles, natural or synthetic bristles, and in a variety of sizes, colors, and configurations. But how are toothbrushes made? Before a toothbrush can begin manufacturing, it must be first designed. Toothbrush designs with an idea, followed by research into customer needs and preferences. The design process includes the choice of materials, variety, shape, and size of the toothbrush. The planner also considers factors like ergonomics, usability, and cost viability. When the initial design is finished, the next step is to create a prototype. Once a prototype is made, it may be tested which includes using the toothbrush under different conditions to guarantee it meets design specifications. Based on the results in prototype testing, the designer can roll out significant changes and alterations to the product. This process includes constantly refining and improving the toothbrush design until it meets the ideal degree of functionality and client satisfaction. After a design has been approved, the production stage of the process can finally begin. The first step in toothbrush production is the careful sourcing of raw materials. The primary components of a toothbrush include the handle, bristles, and sometimes additional features like rubber grips or tongue cleaners. The handles are typically made from plastic, which can be sourced from various polymers such as polyethylene or polypropylene. The handles are often produced using a process called injection molding. Little plastic pellets are sucked by a vacuum and injected into a molding machine. The machine melts the pellets into plastic dough, which is then inserted into a stainless steel mold. The mold is specially designed to give the toothbrush handle its shape. A typical mold can make as many as 10 toothbrush handles in a single go. Once the plastic cools and solidifies, the mold is opened and the newly formed handles are ejected. The head of the handle can have up to 56 holes for bristles. As far as the speed of the process goes, the injection molding machine can pump out 10 handles every 35 seconds, which comes out to 27,000 handles every 24 hours. Although plastic handles have become a sort of industry norm, bamboo handles are also produced as an eco-friendly choice and have become increasingly popular in recent years. Bamboo is a natural material that grows fast and can be procured without harming the environment. Bamboo toothbrushes typically have a shorter life expectancy than plastic toothbrushes. However, they are biodegradable and can be composted in the soil after use. The production of these types of handles begins with harvesting bamboo stalks. Once harvested, the bamboo stalks are stripped of leaves and nodes. Nodes are the joints or segments along the bamboo stalk. To enhance durability and resist decay, the bamboo is typically treated. Treatment methods may include boiling, steaming, or immersion in preservative solutions. The goal is to remove sugars and starches that could attract pests and to prevent the growth of fungi or bacteria. The treated bamboo is then allowed to dry. Drying helps reduce moisture content and ensures that the bamboo is stable and less prone to warping or cracking. The dried bamboo stalks are cut into smaller sections to create individual toothbrush handles. These handles are shaped into the desired form, usually resembling the typical design of a plastic toothbrush handle. The shaping process can involve cutting, carving, and sanding to achieve the desired size, shape, and smoothness. Finally, the process is completed by making holes at the end of the bamboo handles to accommodate the bristles. The next step in the process is designing a rubber grip. For this purpose, rubber pellets are first melted and the liquid rubber is then pumped into the mold with the toothbrush handles. These pellets can vary in color depending on the design of the toothbrush. The rubber is pressed onto the handle to form a grip. The mold for the rubber incorporates little bumps called gripping nubs onto the grip. These nubs serve the purpose of enhancing the user's grip and control over the toothbrush, especially when wet. Factories can prepare a variety of grips using the injection molding process. Some grips are made from semi-clear plastic to produce a gummy grip, so named because it is softer and more pliable and kind of feels like gummy candies. These kinds of grips are limited to the plastic variety of toothbrush handles since adding them to the bamboo handles might alter the biodegradability of the product. Users who use bamboo handles might also just appreciate the simplicity and natural feel of the product. Bristles are another crucial component of plastic toothbrushes. These are commonly made from nylon, a synthetic polymer known for its durability and flexibility. The nylon is melted and extruded through small openings to create thin filaments. These filaments are then cut to the desired length to form bristles. The bristles may undergo additional processes to enhance their texture or color. Nylon has become the material of choice for toothbrush bristles, but not too long ago, toothbrush bristles were generally made of Siberian hog hair. But in 1938, the soft-bristled Miracle Tough toothbrush was invented. 
Within a decade, Oral-B was mass-producing soft bristled toothbrushes. For toothbrush handles made out of bamboo, plant-based bristles may be used or other eco-friendly alternatives. Once the bristles are ready, they are arranged into tufts. This process involves grouping the individual bristles together and securing them to a base. The nylon and the tufts are padded down by a robotic arm so they sit very evenly. Then a machine feeds the bristles into the holes in the heads of toothbrushes. This process happens at a blinding speed and these types of machines can fill as many as 900 holes in a minute. The tufts are secured to the toothbrush head using a wire so they don't fall off. The bristle selection process looks something like this. The machine selects 22 to 24 bristles for each hole in the toothbrush head. With 56 holes per toothbrush, that adds up to 1,300 bristles for each toothbrush. This automation process comes with a two-fold advantage. It is incredibly fast and since a human hand doesn't have to touch the bristles, the process is incredibly hygienic. The arrangement and density of the bristle tufts depend on the toothbrush design and intended use and can vary from brand to brand. With the bristles attached to the handles, the next step is to give the bristles a trim. The toothbrush goes into a machine that has automated blades. These blades trim the bristles to about the same length. Another set of blades sculpts different types of edges depending on the toothbrush model and production. Finally, the brushes move into a machine with rotating discs coated with diamond dust, a mild abrasive. These discs sand the edges of the bristles to produce a particular finish. For instance, the bristles can be straight or zigzag. Different finishes can have different tooth cleaning effects. Quality control is a critical aspect of toothbrush manufacturing. Various tests are conducted to ensure that the toothbrushes meet the specified standards. This includes checking the dimensions, verifying the integrity of the bristle attachment, and inspecting the overall finish of the product. Any toothbrush that does not meet the quality criteria is discarded or undergoes necessary adjustments. Aside from factory approval, the toothbrushes must also comply with a governmental association that standardizes dental products for the public. In America, for example, the American Dental Association tests a number of toothbrushes and other dental products each year. The ADA measures the efficiency and comfort of toothbrushes, and those that meet with their standards are awarded the ADA seal of acceptance. Once the toothbrushes pass quality control, they move on to the packaging phase. Toothbrushes are typically packaged in individual blister packs or cardboard boxes. The packaging is designed not only for protection but also for marketing purposes, as it often includes branding, product information, and usage instructions. If the brand is approved by the American Dental Association, the seal of acceptance is also stamped on the container. Curious how such a simple looking thing such as a toothbrush goes through so many steps to make the final product. If you liked this video, check out this one.